I'm back in Ravenscourt Park. Uh, it's another great day out here. Uh, even better weather than yesterday, I think. Uh, it's even sunnier. But um, luckily the, the scene hasn't changed too much. It, it's brighter and it's sunnier, but um, the overall shapes are still the same. Um, even on the water, the reflections in the water haven't, haven't changed too much. Um, so not too much uh, adjustment that I need to do uh, compared to what I did yesterday. Um, so back again for the afternoon to paint. But first, we started with a picnic, uh, which is really great. Uh, really set the mood and the right mindset uh, for painting. Relaxed and, and fun. Um, and yeah, this is just a, a really great park. There's so many different areas to explore, um, and it's a great place to paint. Um, so I'm going to take a minute to get set up, um, get organized, and yeah, take a closer look at the scene to see maybe what's changed from yesterday. Um, see if I need to mix any more colors. Um, yeah, make, make a plan for the day. I just left the paint exactly where it was yesterday when I was painting. Um, luckily, oil paint doesn't dry very quickly, so it's all still wet. Uh, all I did was I just packed everything up into this box, closed it, and it was pretty airtight, um, so didn't lose a lot of um, kind of flow in, in the paint, uh, which is very convenient. It saves me a lot of time today. I can use these colors as a starting point. Okay, so I'm just starting by uh, studying the scene again. Um, like I said, all of these major shapes are mostly in the same place as they were yesterday. So there's this reflection uh, in the water of the sky and the trees. Um, obviously, the trees haven't really moved from where they were yesterday, which is good. That would be concerning if they had. Um, but yeah, the, I think the overall drawing is the same, even in the fluid elements of the water. Um, so still a lot of color to adjust. The colors are quite different than they were yesterday. There's a new kind of patch of bright up in the higher end of the trees over here. Um, but it's still pretty close to where we were. And I, it's, um, you know, plain air, you don't know uh, how the environment's gonna change day to day or even minute to minute, um, especially in London, the weather can change very quickly. Um, but as part of the fun, uh, I think it, it helps to capture the, the feel of the scene even more when you see it in different lights and the, a mix of those different views get uh, captured on the canvas in some way. So um, yeah, the, it's very sunny today, not a lot of clouds, uh, the light isn't really changing, so I should have a pretty nice consistent day for painting. I think I'm going to start by just looking at the colors, comparing them to what's on my palette, to see if I need to mix anything new. Um, that would be a big adjustment from uh, what I had yesterday. Um, check that, and then, yeah, I think the plan will be exactly where I left off yesterday. So I'm going to start with the focal point, start to work into that area, develop it a bit, and work outward from there. All right, I have to uh, catch my breath because painting this was so exciting. Uh, I, as you can see, I really worked into this reference here. Um, I slowly am allowing myself to open my eyes more after squinting at this for most of the painting so far. Um, I'm allowing myself to look at some detail, I'm starting to use smaller brushes um, to, to work into smaller and smaller shapes inside of the larger shapes that had already been sketched in. There comes a point during the painting process when there's a little voice inside your head that says, stop <laughs> and move on. Um, and that voice was screaming at me just now. Um, because I was enjoying working on this area so much. Uh, I was in danger of just getting too much detail, uh, working on it too much without developing the rest of the picture, and getting just too, too detailed in general. And when one area gets developed 
more than the rest of the painting, or too much more than the rest of the painting, it starts to lose its unity as a whole picture. So, um, as much as I was enjoying myself, I had to I, uh, pause. Um, and yeah, so again, the, the process is the same as before. So I've developed this as a whole, or this, this section. Um, and now I'm gonna start to work into the other nearby areas um, and develop them as well, uh, up to this level or close to it, um, but not past that level. I want that to remain the focal point and keeping that as the most developed area is a good way to do that. And again, another good way to resist the urge to put in too much detail is to step back and look at it from far away, because uh, it reminds you of how little detail you actually need um, for it to read as a picture from far away um, and actually it's better for the picture overall to not do that. So I've uh, developed the rest of the canvas a bit, uh, not very far, mostly just adjusting differences between what I saw yesterday to what I saw today. Uh, so I think I've gotten it back to a stable foundation that I can keep working from. Um, and I'm starting to get a little bit stuck. It's not as clear as it was before what the next step should be uh, to further develop the canvas. I'm trying to think about what I want to do, um, starting to feel a sense of um, slowing down, uh, yeah, not being clear what the next path ahead of me is. One of the challenges with the way that I paint is I, I try to paint what I see um, as closely as I can to the way that I see it, but that doesn't mean that it's, you know, a photographic rendering. It, it, the eye sees different, differently than the camera lens. Um, and I don't want to, even though I can look around the scene, uh, unlike a camera, uh, I still want to have one focal point um, to focus the, the picture. So if this is my focal point, uh, I can look over here and I can see a lot of detail there, but when I'm looking at this focal point, I don't see all that detail over here. So I kind of want to paint this area, this far edge of the canvas, I want to paint it the way that I see it in my peripheral vision uh, when I'm looking over here. So it's kind of like I have to look here and then notice what colors I see in my peripheral vision, see, notice what shapes I see, and try to record that um, in the, uh, on the canvas rather than uh, what I see when I look at it directly. So that's a challenge. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I think I'm getting toward what I would call the end game of painting here. Uh, I'm starting to put in some detail in um, again in the focal point and in the rest of the painting, and it's really starting to bring it together. I'm finally letting myself go to the brightest brights and the darkest darks, um, and it's making a big difference in bringing everything together and, and making it feel finished. And I think I'm going to sign it pretty soon. I, I, I don't want to push it too far um, and, and add in too much detail, so uh, I'm really, really enjoying where it's going, and yeah, we'll see, see where it goes in the next, next little bit here. Uh, I think I might be done. I think I'm gonna sign it, um, take it home, and see see how it looks at home. Um, it's it's hard to know uh, when to be done, uh, but the sun is starting to shine on where I was standing, uh, so it's getting a little hot uh, where I, where I'm painting. So that's a good sign to be done. Um, the picture is, is feeling pretty much at rest. There aren't, everything is within the same range of development. Um, there isn't anything that's like majorly bothering me. Um, so I think, I think it's at a pretty good, pretty good spot. Um, it's definitely not uh, perfect uh, and accurate and you know, there's still endless improvements that could be made. Uh, endlessly making those improvements sometimes isn't the best thing for the picture. Um, another thing that Christopher Alexander wrote about was that uh, you accept roughness and imperfection in small areas, in parts of a building or uh, construction, or in this 
make a case of painting in order to achieve unity in the whole. And that's, that's the price uh, of, of unity and wholeness, um, is lack of perfection. Uh, so I'm going to sign it. Uh, we'll see. I can always come back uh, if I want to work on it more, but I'm going to wrap up for the day and uh, see what it looks like at home. I think that worked pretty well. Uh, it, the signature becomes an element of the composition that really strongly balances this very clear uh, area. So yeah, I really like that. Um, okay, this was a lot of fun to draw uh, and paint. I learned a lot from it. I'm a little sad to be cleaning up and heading home uh, because it was so much fun, but it is getting pretty warm where I'm standing and I don't want to get sunburned uh, <laughs> and getting a little uncomfortable. So I'm gonna, gonna head home. Uh, and yeah, I, uh, just looking at the painting, I really, uh, really enjoy it and what a great, great place to paint. Uh, yeah, maybe I can come back here sometime and do another one.